Bum, bum, bum. Yes, sir. Welcome back, my friends, to another edition of Mondo Mountain. And for my Spanish speaking customers, welcome to El Mondo El Mountain. Yes, sir. All right, updates on the course, my friends. I had to put a brand new servo on the deadbolt because I ran it with the Havocs and it burnt out my servo. Yeah. Same thing happened to this one. Man, I actually bought these tires to run on the Betty and my servo is burnt out as well as my axle is barely holding the wheel on. I have no freaking clue what's going on. So I'm gonna have to do upgrades on this one. I'm probably getting new steering links and I'm probably getting brass for it. And since I'm upgrading this one, I'm gonna need a stock vehicle. And yes, sir, we got one. What? Yes, sir, my friends, look at that. And it comes with a brand new remote. I have no freaking clue. It doesn't have any steering adjustments as far as the throttle control, but the freaking throttle on this thing is awesome. Man, it was an awesome buy. We have, we're gonna run that later. I'm not running that today. Today, I'm running these on a vehicle that actually works, and I got a brand new steering servo, so it should come out pretty awesome. All right, let's put this sucker aside. Man, I even got a brand new wheels. Not gonna be able to use those. But I will eventually get that sucker back up and running. These are running awesome. Updates on the Jeep. Yes, it's got some brand new tires too. Look at those suckers. Man, so the KR3s may be retired because these are actually working almost as good as these. But these were way cheaper. They were only 12 bucks. These were $26. What? 12 bucks, $26, 12 bucks. Man, you can't beat that price. And on the C10, I was running the Thornbirds, but man, this sucker is doing so good with the double barrels that I decided to just put the most janky tires I had on it. And that's what I did. The RGTs, man, these were eight bucks for all four tires and wheels on the C10. I'll probably make a video with that one. I'll probably make a video next with these tires. And then I gotta make a video to this sucker right here to see if a stock vehicle can even make it through the course. But for today, my friends, we're gonna be running these. Finally, I ran them on the C10, they were too big. So I decided to throw them on this and it burnt the servo out. So got a brand new servo and now let's give it a go run on the course and see how freaking good they are. Yes, sir. All right, bear with me. My arm is still in a sling, my friends, and my clavicle is still broken. So hopefully this video comes out okay. There it is. All right, first little obstacle onto the wood forest. Absolutely no problemo. All right, here's where we have some trouble with some tires. This little climb, look at that side climbing problem. Oh man, look at that. It just grips the course. Absolutely, man, I'm even hanging off of the side like that. I would never do this with other tires, but it just grips every little, look at that. Grips every little obstacle. Man, no problems at all. All right, let's get back up there. Yes, sir. All right, up and over, absolutely no problems. And let's cut through here to get up onto the course. All right, making this little turnaround. I can tell you with some of the tires, I have issues being too tall and these are perfect. Look at that, man, grip. These tires are the best. Should I get another set? Nope, I got plenty of other tires, but man, they are freaking awesome. I think I'm gonna run these exclusively on the Betty and get that sucker up and running. I'm not sure where I'm gonna run those Endura tires, but man, they actually are doing pretty well. A little bit of testing I did with them, they were freaking awesome. All right, here we go. Here's where we're gonna be able to tell if these tires are any, look at that. Absolutely no problems. All right, we got a massive climb right here. Let's see if these tires will make it. And I'll even put my, my vehicle in a predicament that normally I would not do because it'll crash and burn. And that's a side climb, that one right there. Look at that, right there, stuck over here. Am I gonna make it with these tires? No problems at all. I do gotta say, these are definitely the best upgrade you can get. They're kind of expensive, but man, you can just tell how good they are. Big difference in tires. Between these and I was running the mud slingers on here, these are actually just as good, but not as tall. And there's some sections on the course where you gotta have some height and these may not have that height. Let's see how good they do. Uh-oh, I'm getting into some danger, a little bit of trouble right here. Am I gonna be able to make it? Yep, no problem. These tires are awesome. All right, a bumper clearance gives me issues right there. 
Here's where I have some issues is this little climb up. All right, all right, all right, climb down. There we go. All right, little bump right here. Sometimes I get high centered. If I, if I get high centered, I gotta back it up and then gun it up over these. With the mud slingers and scramblers, no problem climbing up over these. Let's see how good these do. All right, I'm actually gonna go slow to see if they're tall enough to make it with a slow climb. And they are not, but man, just a little bump like that. Look at that, getting grip, no issues at all. All right, got this little drop down to send. Man, look how good the tires look. They actually look awesome. They're gonna look good on the Betty once they get that sucker back up and running. All right, make this little turn around. Watch out, Mario. Oh, getting into some trouble right there. All right, and then we got the narrow bridge climb. I'm sorry, the trim bridge climb. All right, watch out, Jeep. Stock Jeep is out of the way. And let's get this little climb going and see how good these tires do. Man, all right, I got one little obstacle part right here where the tires, if they're not big enough, they'll fall into the little crevice right there. And looks like I have no issues. Look, look at that, man, no problems at all. They are super sticky. Man, you can't tell it on video, but I can tell you this right now, they are aggressively sticky. I don't know what they do to these. Maybe put some kind of super glue on the outside. But man, they are awesome. They're definitely worth the 26 bucks. I gotta say, these are probably my number one tires. Yes, even, even more than the Mudslingers, even more than the Scramblers, and even more than the Goodyears, and even more than the Patagonias. What, man, those were my favorites. And these are now become my new favorites, but I haven't run the Enduras. Man, these may be just as good, and they're half the price. Man, you can't beat cheap. Yeah, you can. Well, no, you can't, because they're just as fun. Uh-oh, I'm getting to myself into some trouble right here. Let me back up and adjust my angle to get back down this little section, and here we go. All right, can't go too far over to the left because you will fall into a crevice and your vehicle will do that. Nope, can't do it. All right, let me line back up and start that one over and see if I can get this. That's the bad thing about running no foams is that aggressiveness you get. Look at that, it's just may, help, may not help you on side climbing because right there, my vehicle is at a small angle and there's a good chance that I could fall into that crevice. Nope, all right, no problems. We made it. Let's get it back over to the other side and then we gotta make our way onto the narrow bridge. And these should have no issues getting through the narrow bridge. The only ones that really have problems are gonna be the Patagonias. Uh oh, uh oh, there we go. All right, get my driving skills together. All right, make this little turnaround. Uh, the Patagonias are super wide and they have a little bit of trouble hooking onto this little bridge at the beginning because of the width. All right, here we go. These have no problems at all. Look at that, hooking right there, perfect. Perfectly lining up, and they are just perfectly narrow to get over this obstacle with no problems. Let me go slow. Boom, all right, drop down right over here. Uh-oh, He-Man, we might have to run over He-Man. Watch out, He-Man, he doesn't care. Oh, man, He-Man's working on the Trail Finder 2, it's a lost cause, He-Man. We're never gonna find links for it other than the ones that RC Four Wheel Drive put out. And those are gonna be just as bad. All right, I gotta come down this little drop down and make sure I don't go too steep. And you gotta go straight at it. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, 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 made it, no problems. Yes, sir, that was kind of sketchy. The height on these tires are perfect, but that was a little bit of sketchiness right there. All right, making this little turnaround, and then we'll get it over to the flex seal damage. Oh, let's see if we can get through this little bridge. All right, line that up. Get our back tires to hook on there, and boom. All right, what you want to do right here is get your diff to lie on this or on this side. If not, you will fall right over. Uh-oh, diff is not lining up. There it is. All right, I got it. Get my front tire to hook, and got me over the obstacle. There it is, making this little turnaround. We're almost at the finish line. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got myself into some trouble. Man, these tires are just super grippy. Look at that. Oh, man, grippiness, no problems. Getting myself out of major issue trouble that I put myself in. And there we go, heading for the finish line. All right, we got a little drop down right here. Make our way through here. 
Oh, 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 drop down, drop down, make this little corner. I have trouble getting the scramblers and the mudslingers to make this little corner turn because they're too big and too aggressive. These, perfect height. Man, getting through the course, no problems at all. All right, oh, oh, getting myself into some little danger at the end. And we are at the finish line, my friends. And I can give you my final wrap up on these. I can tell you right now that these are my new favorites. Yes, sir. They're gonna knock the Goodyear Wranglers out of commission. They're gonna knock the KR3s out of commission. And I gotta say, man, they are super sticky. They're freaking awesome. The only other tires that I haven't tested out that might give them a go run are these Enduras. Yes, sir, my friend. All right, let me know if you have any questions.